Good morning world changers. It is day 71 of the 100 days of self-discovery. It's Monday morning. It's the start of a new week. I hope you're feeling refreshed and recharged uh, after your weekend. You've managed to relax. If you had some time off, I hope you enjoyed it and you spent some time, given that last week was all about creating joy and living life to the full and doing things that make us smile. So I hope that you were able to implement some of those activities into your weekend. If not, I hope you've done your weekly review because going forward, you can set your intentions for this week. You know, Monday morning, it tends to be a time where we all go, right, Monday, I'm starting again, pressing the reset button. So if you are doing that, then be clear on your intentions, make a plan, make them realistic don't overwhelm yourself you know just this is all about just small changes each and every day and just building on yesterday so improving on yesterday so we've got another question for you today and today's question is what are 10 core values that you live by so again what are 10 core values that you live by so this is really getting this is really getting to the heart of who you are and discovering yourself. So it's working out what your value system is, what is important to you, why you do certain things, why you have certain beliefs, um, why you operate a certain way, why some things are completely acceptable for you and other things are not. They go against your core values, your moral compass, that kind of thing. We have. You know, I think we all have a sense of right and wrong and it's working out what is right for you because what might be right for you might be completely different for me and vice versa. So it is very individual. This is what personal development is. It is personal to you. It's not about what somebody else believes or thinks. It's down to you. So think about um, the values that you live by, you know, things that I live by you know I like to be um, a core value is honesty authenticity being uh, integrity um, you know uh, causing no harm or limiting my harm I know that the minute I step out the door we cause harm in some way whether it's driving a car or um, the foods that we eat or buy or um, you know just the actions we take unfortunately we live in a world that uh, we as humans we cause damage wherever we go but it's trying to uh, I live by limiting as much as I physically can so I do my absolute best uh, I'm really passionate about the environment and I try to limit my damage on the environment by the choices that I make each and every day um, yeah being kind compassionate there you know truthful these are all uh, values that I live by so think about your list think about you know if you're struggling to think what you live by well um, just think about the things that you do how you show up think about the qualities that you like in other people ask yourself do you have those qualities in yourself you know when somebody you think oh god that was a really nice thing they did or that person just shows up in a certain way that you really like if you don't have that value but you really admire that value then adopt it you know implement it into your own world so some questions to help you with your review um, so once you have created your list think about how how you came to decide on them you know what were the core elements why are they important to you um, you know really get to the number of why they're important because this is how you get to know yourself better. You understand where your um, belief systems are coming from, you know, and it also highlights, do I need to readdress my belief systems? Have I been conditioned a certain way? You know, because for example, the easiest one I can use to explain this. So I grew up on a farm, grew up around animals all my life. And, you know, I'm a massive animal lover, yet I, was brought up to believe that you know you eat pigs cows sheep goats but you don't eat dogs cats horses deer um i don't know you can eat all these animals but i was brought up that you didn't uh, them and i was really horrified at the idea of 
uh, different cultures uh, eating dogs and cats. I hated the idea of eating deer because that was Bambi. But yeah, where had that conditioning come from? And you know, when I looked at my core values, I was like, okay, I don't want to inflict any pain or suffering on anybody else or any other living being. So why, you know, my conditioning was completely against my core values. And it was only, I mean, it was a very uncomfortable moment when I realized, you know, I mean, what turned me vegan eventually was a couple, lots of steps, but the, the seed was when I saw a slaughterhouse video on Facebook and I just suddenly was just horrified. And suddenly I made the connection that I was creating the demand for that. And I was like, that is completely against my core values. I love animals. So that was a huge wake up call. So if you are going through this process, be kind to yourself. You know, it's not about being critical. And, you know, sometimes you can have these uncomfortable realizations that you're like, oh, this is not how I am living against my moral compass. And this is why when we live against our moral compass, this is why we get anxiety, why we get stress, why we get pain, because we know something we are doing is not serving us. It's an uncomfortable feeling. So pay attention to those uncomfortable feelings. When you have exchanges with people, when you're in work, for example, and you're asked possibly to do something, or you know your company has, in, um, you know, maybe introduced a new policy or regulation or something, uh, or you know it's going to be expanded, and you just think, ah, oh, you know, it feels uncomfortable. Be aware of that feeling because it's something, and that feeling is is a trigger. It's an alert to say something about this is not right for you and it goes against your core values and you know you know in your gut you know in your heart and you know in your head so you know we often kind of just trying to dumb them down and ignore them but they are there for a reason and when we ignore them that's when we get you know real kind of conflict in our life because we're going against our values so another question to think about how does living by these values help you and improve your life um, and finally, who would benefit from you sharing your core values? Who needs to know about them? So, for example, uh, a boss is always a good one. You know, if you uh, have certain core values, it might be a very good exercise to share that with your boss because they might have no idea. And, you know, when they understand you better, they can lead you better, they can uh, manage you better and they can find tasks and jobs and roles that would suit you perfectly. It's a, again, it's the same with our partners, our loved ones, our family, friends, you know, when they know our core values, they, you know, true uh, solid relationships will not cross those boundaries, they will not expect you to uh, go against your values. And, you know, that's when you can really enhance your relationships, you really enhance your connection and just improve your life. And you can live life true to yourself. And life just feels a lot more comfortable when you are living true to yourself. Because, like I said earlier, you're not in conflict. So this may require uh, a bit more than 10 minutes today, definitely. But, you know, it's a good question to ponder. Write it in your journal, uh, write down the immediate thoughts that come up and just, you know, sit with it for the next week. See what comes up. Admire people. Look around you. See who you admire. If somebody inspires you, think, what is it about that person that I like? What are their core values? And if you like them, adopt them, embrace them and live it and live your live life better. That's what it's all about. So if you've enjoyed today's post, please uh, feel free to share, tag somebody in. Let them know that you're doing this 100 days of self-discovery and inspire them to do the same because like I keep saying, when we think better, we make better choices. When we make better choices, we get better results. And then that's when our world starts to change. So we can literally change the world just through personal development. It is that, I was going to say it's that simple, but personal development isn't always simple. But life is always much better on the other side when you get to know yourself better so love to you all take care and i will see you tomorrow for day 72 bye